that list of invasive species plaguing our forests will no doubt grow longer in the coming years. Well, the ones that are already here will likely continue to spread. One of them is a tiny insect that over the past two decades has moved into nearly every coastal county. And as New Center Maine's David Guilford explains tonight in our ongoing series on Maine's changing climate, it threatens not only crucial habitats, but a tree that could otherwise thrive as our planet evolves. Some 20 years ago, a Japanese invader began threatening an entire tree species in Maine, the hemlock woolly adelgid. So adelgid has been here for quite a while. Biologists have brought in a mercenary from the same country. Okay, yeah, there, 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 yeah. The Sajasimnus sugai beetle does two things, eat invasive adelgids. Oh, you can see they're out crawling around looking for food. And mate, and it ain't mating time. Have at it. <laughs> Colleen Tierling is a state entomologist. On this morning, she's with Maggie Cousins from the Maine Coast Heritage Trust, walking through the Woodward Point Preserve in Brunswick, deploying beetles on infected branches as they go. Are those dead? No, those are alive. Hemlocks are really important for preserving uh, ecosystem stability and preventing erosion. Tierling compared hemlock woolly adelgid to the aphids you may find on your backyard flowers. It's kind of puff balls of waxy wool. And under each of those is a little adelgid. When a horde, potentially millions strong, gets a hold of a hemlock, they suck out the needle's juices until the tree dies. There is definitely some here. First arriving in Maine's southern tip in 2003, the adelgid has been moving up the coast, infesting hemlocks as far as Acadia National Park. Tierling's office has been working with 10 land trusts to release the beetles on as much public land as possible. It's been a tried and true method of managing this uh, invasive population. Now here's where climate change comes in. Tierling explained hemlocks don't just look rugged, they can stand up to climate change better than other main species. But the adelgid thrive in warmth. And if coming winters aren't as cold, adelgids could continue to march north unimpeded. If the weather is cold enough in the winter, they just won't establish into, into like say northern areas. Um, but as, as the climate changes, yeah, these are spreading faster and faster. The tedious work goes on. While we fight climate change, these sides battle it out with the hemlock woolly adelgid dug in. They're here, they're not gonna go anywhere. So biological control um, is, has the potential to keep the numbers down to a level where the trees can survive with them. In Brunswick, David Guilford, New Center, Maine. Okay.